at the core of what makes it possible to transform and go beyond a conflict that is so unconscious, like the culture wars that are existing today, and the individual conflicts, the missing magic ingredient is vulnerability. One side must put down their armor and their weapons and just be completely vulnerable without any hidden agendas, without any cultural, social activism or any ego agenda. Just be willing to be vulnerable. And when that happens, it creates the space where the conflict can resolve. It is a little dangerous, and you don't want to do this just under any circumstances. I wouldn't want to go into Syria and be vulnerable in a war-torn nation. That would not be a good idea. I would only go into a, a cultural context that had evolved to a certain level of development, individual development and collective cultural values. I, I just pause for a moment and I, I think of what would happen if Gandhi, if Germany under Hitler, would have been in control of India and Gandhi suddenly went upon his civil disobedience he would have been crushed. Or I think of Tiananmen Square in China, where that, that uprising was crushed, even when it tried to be nonviolent. So you have to have a certain level of vulnerability of cultural development and individual development before it's a good idea to be vulnerable or you'll be crushed. But once you've discerned that that condition exists, that it's okay to be vulnerable, which is really post-modernity. It's modernity and post-modernity. It's not until post-modernity that that becomes an option that will have positive results and not be crushed. And those are the conditions that exist in most of the, the so-called modern world today. In the, the developed countries. So this becomes extremely important.